Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to understand what the Spring Framework is, what problem it solves, why it became so important in Java development, and the benefits it brings to real-world applications. Let's begin. Before the Spring Framework existed, Java developers used to build applications in a very manual way. Every class was responsible for creating the objects it needed. Developers had to handle object creation, connection, configuration and lifecycle completely on their own. As applications became bigger, this manual approach created a few major problems. First, the code became tightly coupled. Tightly coupled means one class depended heavily on another class. So if you changed one part of the system, you often had to change several other parts as well. This made applications hard to modify and even harder to scale. Second, testing became difficult. Since objects were created directly inside the code, it was not easy to replace parts of the system with mock objects for testing. And third, projects were not organized well. Developers ended up writing a lot of repetitive code, especially in areas like configuration, setup, and object wiring. This slowed down development, it increased bugs, and maintaining applications became expensive. To solve these problems, the Spring Framework was introduced. So, what is the Spring Framework? Spring is a Java framework that provides a structured and efficient way to build applications. It focuses on helping developers write clean, organized, and maintainable code. Instead of developers managing everything manually, Spring provides a well-designed system to manage application components. It standardizes how objects are created, how they interact, and how they are configured. So in simple words, Spring takes care of the complex setup and you focus on writing business logic. Now let's talk about what problem Spring solves. Spring solves the problem of complexity in Java application development. In traditional Java, developers had to manually handle object creation, object lifecycle, configuration, dependency management, and application structure. Spring automates all of these responsibilities. This means fewer mistakes, less code, and more focus on real application logic. Spring also solves the problem of tight coupling. It encourages a design where classes depend on abstractions, not concrete implementations. This makes applications flexible and easy to change. And by providing a standard structure, Spring ensures that even large applications remain organized, predictable, and scalable. Next, let's talk about why Spring is important. Spring became important because it brought simplicity to enterprise Java development. Before Spring, enterprise applications were built using technologies that were heavy, complicated, and difficult to manage. Spring introduced lightweight, layered, and manageable application design. It allowed developers to build applications faster, test them easily, and maintain them for years. Because of this, Spring quickly became the standard in the Java world. Today, if you are working on back-end development in Java, there is a very high chance that the project uses Spring. Finally, let's discuss the benefits of Spring. Spring helps developers write clean and organized code. It reduces complexity by taking care of object wiring and configuration. Spring applications are easier to test, easier to extend, and easier to maintain. Spring also provides a consistent structure across projects, which means team members can understand and work on the application without confusion. And Spring is highly flexible. You can build small applications, large enterprise systems, or distributed microservices. Spring fits all of these use cases. So, in summary, Spring is a powerful and widely used Java framework that simplifies application development. It solves the problems of tight coupling, complexity, and unstructured design. It is important because it brings stability, flexibility, and efficiency to software development. And it is beneficial because it makes your application clean, testable, scalable, 
and easy to maintain. Alright, that's all for this lecture and I'll see you in the next lecture.